Oh, fuck. What? I'm so happy where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? You, you think you it? can guess why? Because we've beat the fucking bed of chaos already. We don't have to do the bed of chaos. <laughs> it's a better fight now. It was still the bed of chaos, mate. It was still kind of annoying. But, but still, it's, it was definitely an improvement. Absolutely. That's the least you can say about it. It was an interesting boss. It was a cool boss. I, I enjoyed it. We but done a because, it was associ- because it was associated with a bed of chaos, I was just angry the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so who are we doing next? Who's next on the agenda? Four Sif. kings. Sif. So, yeah, Sif. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll do it. No, can I do Sif? you fucking blaze to shit. <laughs> no, let me do Sif. <laughs> you're not. No, I don't want to. Tony, not you're not. doing everything tonight. These hands don't work anymore. These might well just be I mean, butter. I feel like I, I can still could be, be fairly calm. I could, I could be Sif. Yeah. I could be fairly calm. Sif's easy, right? So, man. You go Here, right I played this game stone before. What the fuck are you saying? Of Why course I want you to shake your hand. I'll do four kings. Really One life. Come on. They'll do it. No, yeah, go kill the Hydra. But you need to kill the Hydra so that you can do the Dusk of Illusion thing to go to the DLC. Don't you? <coughs> well, I guess you're right. I'm fucking killing the Hydra. Kill I'm this fun. thing as well. Well, fuck, I'm sorry to explain what the progression order is. My bad, man. Fucking shoot the messenger. Aye, right, I see how it is here. Nah, no, you're the messenger. Bitch. You're fucking conspiring against this me. That's what this is. I'm just trying to help a fucking guy who starts right getting shit. What the fuck's this about? What the fuck is this about? You know what you should do? You should make fun of one of his appearance. See him? Call him a Sam Squam. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing, like, some weird pyjama version of golf intrusals. No, do you know what a Sam Squam is? <laughs> Nice, what bubbles off trailer park boys calls a Sasquatch. Oh. <laughs> it's a Sam Squatch! I just got your joke there, but he's fucking trousers, they do. Yeah, they look like golfing trousers, but like in pyjama form. Oh, uh, what do your trousers look like? Fucking junky trousers, except in fucking. <laughs> the denims? Double look- junk ball form, I don't know. Steven, you look like you <laughs> pulled him out of 2003. Where did you even get jeans like this? I mean, I, I would assume Time a machine. shop. It would assume I doesn't even know. <laughs> Ah, you you're like, like, you're like Zuckerberg, where he's just like, yes, I am human. No, I believe Smoking these meats. <laughs> Smoking these delicious fine meats. <laughs> oh no. This is going to be a bad recording. Well, I mean, you're in it. Did that cat come back to life? Because I killed it earlier. Your nose is in it. I thought you did kill this cat. No, I did, because it went off the edge. Oh yeah. No, so, mean. something I want to say is, like, see this Dark Souls 2 randomizer mod, which I definitely think we should do, and I think you'll be into it, Sam, just for the banner. Mm-hmm. Hear me out. Hear him out. It Hear makes... <laughs> it makes, um... Fuck, what then? What boss is it? I know it, it makes these skeleton lords, like... Oh, and the mages in the congregation, it makes them basically impossible. Because when you kill one, it just spawns a bunch of random fucking enemies. Which can be anything! So... <laughs> apparently, um, Apparently Lobos, he done it. And, um... When you do the gargoyles, it, it just spawns everything in immediately, so it spawned in five smelter demons. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not see his compilation oh. of the Dark Souls 1 <coughs> randomizer? And it was just a collection of clips where Gwyn out of fucking nowhere. And <laughs> yeah. He had like over 140 instances of one playthrough where it was just, oh, it's Gwyn. He's here to fight. And it's like, oh, fuck, not again. But yeah, I, I found it quite funny. He's walking through Duke's archives and instead of Bloody the mimic, hell, it's Gwyn. <laughs> Tony, you're in a bit of a situation. <coughs> no, no. I'm pretty sure he took the elevator up to the top to like your first encounter with Seath, and they replaced the Crystal Knight with Gwyn. That'd be funny. So he just walked around the corner and he's like, "Oh shit, it's Gwyn!" Oh wait, he's actually, fucking I... flying dashes into him. I remember what our next playthrough is going to be. What? Right, so it's Dark Souls One again, but it's the one where you can play as any boss you want. I'm gonna play Dark Souls One again. Yeah, but you want to play Dark Souls One? It's Pinwheel. Two players, <laughs> one controller. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back! Don't <laughs> ever bring it again! Put it back! We just lost all the subs for that. Jesus! One line. You fucking print that idea out <laughs> and you shred it. No, you put it on a shirt, is what you do. Oh, holy fuck! <laughs> you okay? Uh, Calamite yeah. run, four players, one controller. <laughs> now, Pinwheel two players, one controller is the most meme playthrough I can possibly imagine. No, no, Pinwheel two no, players, pinwheel one uh, playmat. Or how about two players, one controller? Except the one player is holding one controller and is blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, no I want to do a blindfold one as well. Uh, one person's blindfolded, one other person's yelling at them what to do. No, 100% I want to do that. You two players, one controller with, pinwheel, with pinwheel, pinwheel, but pinwheel, you have pinwheels. the abilities of this version's pinwheel where you can summon bone wheels. Um, you might be able to do that. 
I don't know if you can make it so you can summon copies of yourself, but I know you get the boss's attacks, so... Maybe you can summon bones Tony. then in this version, Maybe. if the mod actually mixes well. Tony, you could do what Ross oh, done. that sounds good. You could do two players and have the controller as a bunch of bananas. What about two players, one small? One what? Two players, one small. One small. Aye, we'll just do a playthrough as small. We'll fucking blub, dunk blub. everyone. Hey, so <laughs> see if you can do it with Dark Souls 2, because it has a way more bosses, what would be the best boss to do it then? Oh, Fume Knight. I mean, that'd be the best. Okay, well, um, oh, the Magus killer. in the Congregation! No, fucking Master Weeaboo in the Fire DLC, the Samurai Cunt. I, I'm talking about like the meanest. Oh, the meanest. meanest. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Oh, one of the King's Tiger things. The Covetous Demon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just Worms 3. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, that careful. big fat thing that's in it, what's it called? The Covetous, the covetous demon. demon. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, what, what were you laughing at? Oh, wait, I was thinking of the thing in uh, Demon Souls, that boss going around that, is that boss, the first boss in it? The uh, <coughs> the thing that you were laughing at Gary at when you figured out Rango Steel. What was that boss called? Oh, the tutorial boss. The yeah. fucking, I can't remember its name. Not Dragon God. No. <laughs> going around Demon Souls is Dragon uh, God. Uh, if it's Dark Souls 2 and you want Mimi, eh. Uh, I don't fucking know. The frog thing. Oh, that'd be quite good. Yeah, the the demon of song. Oh, for oh the uh, sick. The boss for the this rat covenant. The though. rat king. That'd be quite funny. That's a good hit. Oh, there great. we go. Good job. Right, so apart there's like a bit here that you can actually hit it quite reasonably. Oh, I fucking hate that head, man. But now you don't have to deal with it ever again. That is correct. But I think this cool thing about the randomizer mods is the fact that when you die, it just reshuffles everything. <laughs> Which is just hilarious. <laughs> what? That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so it's just never, never the same. It makes it almost like one of these fucking roguelike games, then. Yeah, a little bit, actually. It's kind of yeah. cool. Like, sure, the terrain stays the same, but the uh, the obstacles in your way change. Oh, right, what would be the most meme That's form? cool. What would it's be quite neato, right? So. <laughs> it, changes, it changes all the item placements as well every time, by the way. Sam. Mm. Not that that necessarily Does will, that like, mean that you will have to go backwards to collect items? Um, like, if you've already collected something, will it respawn an item there? Mm. No, no, no. It, it's if you pick something up, I think it will, like, just take it off the list and then shuffle, like, the smaller list, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> uh, I don't know how it does it with, like, key items. It probably must mean, like, if there is a key item specifically. Um, yeah. I also don't know how it does it with keys, but I guess we'll find out. I also fucking do not best know. Did it with keys. Because here's the thing. Let's uh, change the key locations. Remember <coughs> the fucking uh, key to the New London Ruins wasn't. Uh, it was in a different place on Blight Town. This is true, but it was in a location that you could still get to, where potentially a randomizer mod could just put the key to a place you need to go to somewhere after you need to get like oh, the place you're trying to get to. So yeah, I see what you're saying. Maybe it just doesn't affect key locations. Maybe they found a way to isolate keys. Uh, possibly. In fact, yeah. I mean, you can probably make it so like key items stay yeah. the same. So. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think they're going to make it so that fucking uh, Big Titty Lady doesn't give you the Lord Vessel. Imagine <laughs> you get up to her and she gives you like, a fucking small soldier's soul or some shit like that. <laughs> Lord Soul of a Nameless Warrior and you're like, what the fuck, where's my warp, <laughs> bitch? Just hand you rubbish. <laughs> you have to kill her to get it or something. <laughs> yeah. Here, what would be the most meme uh, Bloodborne boss to play through as? Oh, uh, Cleric Beast. Cost. Just because you can just all the way through the fucking place. The, al <laughs> uh, the alien boss, one of the big heads. You're all wrong. Oh, the, uh, the big alien the boss. Living yeah. failures. Guys, you're, you're all wrong. It's Rom. Oh, <laughs> it's Rom. Just spawn all these fucking skeletons. <laughs> no, it's spiders. Spider. Kill him, kill him. That boss. Oh, shit, yeah, you can't do backstabs. Oh. He can one shot you, though, especially <clears> if you get power within on. Oh, wow. Uh, too bad. The He's a bitch. bitch. Yeah, oh, yeah, you get power within. Bad. Never mind. Just got fucking bad done. Oh, but you can. You fucking went like Super <laughs> Saiyan to do with Havel. Aye. I mean, this is this build's version of fucking like, Kaoken. Well, at least, it's, yeah, right. at least he's not went Ultra Instinct. That can just swiftly get kicked in the balls. Nah, he can't do that, right? The sacrifice is too great. A character would become a vegetable. No, no, he hasn't absorbed, <laughs> he hasn't absorbed enough spirit bomb energy. Apparently. Right, the that. sacrifice is too much, um, like, I don't know, artistic <laughs> consistency or something. <laughs> what? He was just doing it for the money. Akira Toriyama is a hack. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does a reply Dragon video saying say it to my fucking face. Dragon Ball Super, let's be honest, was mostly shit. It was uh -huh. quite bad. Right. Emphasis on the mostly. Maybe they quit yeah. out. Yeah. The, uh, I will give it one thing though. The battle music was good. It's still not Faulkner school but though. Yeah, but like, the best part about it was easily the fucking fight music when Goku's like, I have all the motivation I need to win no matter what now. <laughs> and then it plays like 
his special song. It's like a WWE. It's like Hulk Hogan coming in where Hulkamania is playing. He's like walking through. It's I am a real um, that. Like the doctor's music when you know you're going to do something good. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will give it something though. It did manage to do a really, really good job of getting something that looks almost good together on practically zero budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you amazed know, at how little budget it actually got. Do you know when you started that statement? I didn't think it was going to be an actual compliment that came out of your mouth on the end, and I was right. It wasn't. No, it was a backhanded exactly. fucking compliment. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be a good thing. <coughs> it looks cheap, but it doesn't look that cheap, and that's impressive for how yeah. cheap it is. Yeah. You know what I'm looking forward to? I just had to get people that were like heavily into Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what this fucking um, this crossover fighting game they'll bring out is based on as well. What, it's the like, Shonen Jump one? Yeah, the one that has fucking One Piece and all that shit in it as well. You know he's not I called One like Piece. Piece. No, I mean One Piece, because there's going to be more than just him from One Piece and, in it. There's they're all not One Piece. I know Piece. his name's Luffy. There's oh, already sure a game just like this out on the PS4 is the thing. Like, it came out like a year ago. Yeah, what was it called again? Did it not get any traffic out of anything? Nah, that's all. Oh, Wait, did it come out at like, the same Bye, time bitch. as Marvel vs. Capcom? Or no, Street actually, no, this, would been, this would have been two or three years ago, actually. But J-Star? Yeah, it, it was, yeah, it was just like... Was there a lot of competition at the time in the same field, or...? No. No, it's just... Those, those types of games arena. tend not to do very well. Yeah, huh. it's just arena fighters, like... Yeah. It's just like Tenkaichi or whatever. No, I know, like, I know arena fighters don't like, do that. Fanboys will obviously like, take up, but it's such a small percentage of people... That's why I'm it. asking, like, yeah. maybe that another, like, higher-profile arena fighter came out, like, the same day or the same week, and that's the why The same day. They released another higher profile than Shonen Jump. What? What could, the, what could it be? What would the higher profile be? I don't fucking know. They release about 20 uh, Street Activision. Fighters a year at this Genesis point. How the fuck am I meant to keep up? Higher profile? Nah, nah. Right, it would have to be like some insane, like, ludicrous crossover, like, fucking... Like, yeah, it could have been Marvel v. Capcom. Final Fantasy x Marvel it been, x fucking... It could have been Marvel v. Capcom. Marvel vs. DC. <laughs> <laughs> versus uh, Trump or something, like... <laughs> versus that new fucking... Versus Ben Shapiro. Thing. What is that dark universe thing that fucking oh, thing no, you're doing? It's, it's already cancelled, man. Is it? Wow, that nice ship seal real oh, fucking fast. Um, Universal Pictures tries to... I think it's Universal. I might yeah, I think, um, I think you're right. But it's they try to get their own cinematic universe together after seeing how well the Avengers has done. Oh, sure. Um, so it's all their old horror movie IPs they own have been using. So like right. The Mummy, that film that came out a few years ago. Was that part of it? Yeah. They, they tried to launch wow. it with that. Um, they tried again with something else. Do you remember, Stephen? No, I have no idea. I just know that this entire idea was a complete fucking disaster. I'm surprised, oh, absolutely. They, I'm surprised they canned it so quickly. It only lasted about fucking two years. They tried three different films launching it and forgetting about the previous ones. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Doesn't. So what, Ray, what do you think about this whole um, Sony's cinematic Spider-Man universe without a trace <laughs> of Spider-Man? <laughs> Somebody had to pitch this, right, to pitch it to somebody and then <laughs> somehow say Spider-Man but imply it strongly enough that if anybody was to question it, he'd go, I never said Spider-Man was actually in it, did I? What are they going to call it? Um, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. No. Sony are making that. That's And that's Spider-Man. But. It's not their Marvel he's, he's Universe. He's talking about movie rights, not animated movie rights. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. What is I just don't understand why they're going to like make a Spider-Man like? series without Spider-Man. I quite like looking at animated movies, by the way. That yeah, it looks quite good. I mean, I guess they kind of did that with Gotham, where they made a series around Batman that didn't have I don't Batman understand that, it, it just sounded like dog shit to me, to be honest. No, but I mean, it got decent enough reviews anyway, apparently it's not complete and total Can shit. you open the door from the back? Yeah, it's possible. What, the Covenant door? Yeah. Possibly. What the fuck did they do with that fucking bonfire, by the way? Oh, they <sighs> moved it. <laughs> But they moved it from the Black Knight, it's not there anymore. So there's just a missing bonfire. Or you've missed it. They put it on the ground. You don't have the, uh, you've not learned dig yet. <laughs> Shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Fucking treat. <laughs> getting the fucking end kicked out of me, Jesus. This is horrible. Ah! <laughs> They're barking, mate. Damn. That was up. I'm so stoned, mate, it's, it's criminal. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, I need to deal with these fuckers as well. Ah. Oh, oh, fuck, I thought I had to go like that way still. Watch it not work. Watch them fall. Watch, deep watch gravity just. Ha 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 ha! Fuck. Homing bone, mate, quick. <clears throat> no, 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 there's no chance. You may have humanity on your toolbar. Yes! And take one, you Stop uh, letting the trees get to you. Ah! Why are you running near them again, you fucking imbecile? I need to, like, get far enough away that I could have got, like, space. Tony, the veins in your hands are popping out Quick, so Tony, much right now. now. 
He is uh, scared right now. Oh my god, that's so fucking. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Where the fuck is that little bit? Not there, that's a ledge, mate. You're not crossing the bridge yet. Um, Go get the items. You get the items. No! Stop <laughs> being a bitch and get the items! I'm gonna get the fucking. We'll make fun of you! Make fun of me then! <laughs> what what, what uh, can you say that? Tony the a... weirdo! Uh. Where even the fuck am I, by the way? <laughs> I don't know actually. We're in dark route. That's a ledge. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. <laughs> that's. Oh! Alright, let's back at the river. There you go, well right. done. See, I thought they'd put a bon- the bonfire up here, and I'd be like, "Oh, that's kind of that's kind of cool next to the wee cute bridge or whatever." So this Not. Is, this is where the cats are, or where the cats used to be. There'll be twelve cats now. In the past, the cats wouldn't have been here. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> well, now you can. That's the beauty of the remaster. Anything's yeah. possible. Oh wait, I thought I was jumping up to that bit. Right, never mind. The- There's a cat. Okay, the cat is getting ran the fuck away from. Oh fuck! Cat wants to. It's barely up, mate. Master. Okay, I mean, at least that thing's easy enough to fucking avoid. Right, uh, so do you think Venom is any good? Apparently it's shit. Well, according to the critics, it's shit, but according to the plebs, the shit eaters, um, it's, it's... They also right. said that The Last Jedi was good. This is, this is true. I mean, a lot of people also said The Last Jedi was dog shit, so... I mean, it's kind of hard to make a specific judgment on that one. But not enough people said that the film before it was bad. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem. worrying thing, yeah. yeah. Like, there should have been so much more, like, hate directly. That's, that's the shame, it just makes it, The Last Jedi, no, no, The Force Awakens, it's like, it makes you um, lose faith in humanity. I lost my You know, the war in Syria, you know, the fucking, uh, the American government implanting, um... Palestine like, and all that. You know, implanting phone aid leaders into South American countries. Russian spies and all that. Jazz. All that, all that pales in comparison to, to the fact that people actually enjoyed the film. You're going words. the wrong way to Sif, this is to Alvina. I know where I'm going. Why you are you want, going you here? Maybe Sif. the, uh, it's not here. Speak to Alvina. Maybe they put it down there. Oh, and they did not. But there's oh. a wee chest in there. I, I thought they might have put the bonfire maybe, down there. Maybe they just removed the bonfire, mate. Yeah, I mean, that is maybe. totally possible. I mean, we've seen them do it before. Have we? Maybe it never yeah. existed. What other one have they removed? They removed the bonfire behind that uh, hidden wall at the first section of Dark Road. No, but they, they oh. switched it. So they put stone armor now. It's oh yeah, they put it up at the Wolf Ring, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so the yeah. one in Blight Town that was up or, that was up on the rafters. Uh, he does need no, to get up. Put that. Oh yeah, they did actually just. No, no, no. They, they moved that one as well. Oh yeah, they put it up by the shadows. Yeah, you do need a bonfire pretty soon. Yeah, because, because um, you have no way of healing. Really? Yep. That is. Is it too humanity? Is that plenty, plenty for stuff? Is it? Yeah. <sighs> okay. I mean, how bad are you? It's just more doing. Wait, never mind. There you go. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's directly I'm outside. You didn't take any fall damage there. He did. He took a little bit. He's I didn't see it. You're stoned. Here we go. So what do you so think of the whole good. Conor McGregor thing? Who? Uh, who cares? Aye, but right. So do we you Irish twat needs to go just, back into famine? Just, Think, think of the <coughs> dosh, but no. the money. What I'm saying is, do you think what happened to Khabib was justified considering what Conor McGregor's done and he's kind of like held up as a hero? Right, Khabib it was out probably, the ring and he's being sued for it. He's, he's in trouble for that. Khabib's probably some oh, sort Khabib of Russian d- Khabib done what he done in the ring. He'd done it at an event. I've got no idea what he's around, but... U- UFC. What happened? Uh, ginger cunt and Asian cunt fought each other. The Asian cunt won. Khabib is not Asian. He's some form of Asian. He's Russian! <laughs> is he? Yes. Doesn't look Russian at all. He's partially Russian. in Asia. Alright, but he's not like Asian as, you know, you'd imagine. Like, anyway, so. Let's see, now you tell it. How would you imagine an Asian, Tony? Describe it. Browner, basically, <laughs> right? <laughs> And or yellow or ten cents. Oh, I just realised right, so the sword's glowed now. Like, look at it. That's pretty. It always glowed. So, but, but it's Khabib like McGregor had a fight, right? Fight ended, and then Khabib and McGregor had another fight after it ended. And Khabib, one of Khabib's friends, jumped in the ring and hit McGregor a few times. Like, well, his back was basically cheap shot at him a few times. Mm-hmm. That guy's been sacked for the UFC. Right. Uh, and then I think Khabib jumped over the cage to continue the assault or some shit like nah, that. Nah, nah, nah. What happened is then. Um, Right, so the thing is, is Khabib started it, technically. Well, no, no, no. Um, so basically, no health. Uh, well, I'm not basically really taking a hit off this thing. Whoa, that done so much damage. What the fuck? You've castrated them. That was intensely easy. Well, that's the end of this part. It's Sif, mate. 
Right, well, so, so the thing I hand, right, is... Um, it's a dog swinging a sword. It's not really like... He's not got much of a chance, has he? He doesn't even have thumbs. Can't Khabib, even hold it. After Khabib won the fight against Conor McGregor, he jumped out the ring and started fighting with Conor McGregor's, like, trainer or coach or something like that. Um, so then one Homer of bond. Khabib's men, or, like, one of Khabib's trainers, he comes up to the ring, but then Conor McGregor throws a punch at him. So then another one of Khabib's guys jumps into the ring and punches Conor McGregor. <laughs> And then at that point, everything get, gets broken up with. <coughs> but, all the stuff that led up to that point... Oh, fucking hell. Um, all the stuff that led up to that point, um, like, Conor McGregor, like, smashed the bus with, like, the, the dolly cart, and, like, didn't really get much happening to him, and that was actually used in, like, he promotion have, material for the fight. He does have lawsuits pending against him, so I can see maybe Dana White holding off until the lawsuits are through, so he knows what charges... He could take. It, he's supposed to take action on, if you know what I mean. Like there is two lawsuits in place against McGregor, so depending on what he gets convicted of, if he gets convicted anyway, then Dana White can go right. Look, you get convicted of this, so this is your suspension. This is what you're getting it for. I just about thirteen. He could man. do that. He could be waiting till then, or maybe he's like, Nah, man, I can't get rid of this. Is my this is my golden milk cow. I need to keep my wee my wee Irish gold potato happy, otherwise he's <laughs> gonna be happy. Like, what if he leaves me? Then I lose all my money. I mean, that is admittedly a thing, because, like, obviously Conor McGregor's brought in a lot of people, but the thing yeah. is, he is an arsehole, like, I think he oh, deserves yeah. whatever should be coming to him. Oh yeah, absolute power corrupts, absolutely, he's no fucking... The problem is that this guy who's been absolutely corrupt too can also lay a motherfucker out in about three seconds, um, so he's so dangerous he, he corruption. He was fighting bears when he was nine, and what? I'm not even... There's videos of him nine <laughs> fighting a bear. That's fucked up, man. <laughs> I don't know what's more fucked up, okay. the fact that he was able to fight with a bear, or the fact that someone let him fight with a bear. Did he win? I don't. I mean, he's getting well, kind of rocked about with a bear. I mean, but that's what I'm. That's what <laughs> he's alive. <laughs> well, it's kind of like it was like a bear cub. Alright. Oh, so I mean, it was pound for pound. Yeah. <laughs> a, a bear are roughly the same size as him. And wasn't he roughly? It was pretty bigger than an eight year old. Bigger than him, right? <laughs> so, a bear we're talking about one point five times the size of him. Give or take, yeah. That's ridiculous to be so <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> okay, well, now the bear was also chained up. Apparently, was also drunk. <laughs> Uh, they, 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 gave, they gave him a hammer. <laughs> they gave him a hammer. They put hammers to him. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking brutal. Okay, they did. Oh, but imagine, <laughs> imagine for a second, a oh, brick. They just went. <laughs> Take this brick, kill this bear. <laughs> I now understand why he does that walk he does when he's in the <laughs> ring with that fucking... Ah, that kill a bear! <laughs> That's Conor McGregor! Oh wait, you talking about the Russian one? Yes! <laughs> I, because Irish people are going to let a little boy fight a bear! Probably. <laughs> Have you met the Irish? <laughs> Did you think he was talking about McGregor? They'd get him pissed like... before they make him fight a bear! I'm stoned, man! What, what bears are in Ireland? What's the, what's the bear piss? <laughs> Irish bears! I, I don't think so. <laughs> He's pissed off, probably. <laughs> oh, that Either that, or he's like the bear understands it's play fighting. So did he have a hammer? <laughs> no, but he did have brick. Oh, he had one of these spits and has toe knives. Fucking hell! He was kicking the shit out of the bear. Fucking tap dancing. Look at his head. He had a cinder block with a chain on it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the bear basher, fucking a handful of fucking bullets in a ball peen. He's given the tools to be able to craft a knife, <laughs> and then put in the ring with it. It's kind of like Fortnite, but with a bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, that man, joke man. probably taken to its logical conclusion. Oh, that fucking hurt. Oh. <laughs> right, so we're well, probably going to... I learned a lot about Khabib. <laughs> <laughs>